So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a geometric colouring book interior and also just teach you a new skill you may not have known, which could be useful in the future on your desired software. So you're going to want to stick around for this. Now, if you haven't been here before, my name is Rory and I run this channel called Mr. Rosa. And before we get into anything, as usual, can I ask you guys to hit that like and subscribe button as it would be greatly, greatly appreciated and doesn't take you half a second to do. Now, the reason I'm creating a video like this, a geometric colouring book, you may be thinking, well, that's a bit random. Well, really what happened was I was just scrolling through Amazon like I sometimes do to get some niche research and find any new niches that I haven't thought of before. And I saw one of these books and I saw it had a very impressive BSR and I saw, well, it's making a lot of money. So what I did is I just wanted to teach myself how to create one of these interiors. And now I have learned how to create it and now I just want to show you guys and pass on that information because you never know, this could be something that can make you guys some money. And well, maybe you can gain some inspiration from my t-shirt because I've just looked onto the camera now and realised my t-shirt's a bit, a, bit, a bit geometric as well. You could <laughs> create a geometric book out of my t-shirt. And we've changed the lights in the background. We've gone for more of a cool kind of blue colour. I quite like it actually. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I think I'm going to be switching out every video and seeing what I like because these lights are honestly amazing and I recommend them to all you guys. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go and check them out. But yeah, let's just get straight on with this video. So yeah, if we jump onto the computer now, as you can see, we already have geometric colouring books for adults. We're we'll not be looking too much into the niche research today and keyword research, but what I will show you is it does meet our criteria because as you can see, there is only... 774 results which is lower than our thousand results criteria that we're looking for and if you look onto this first book here have a scroll down to the bsr because the bsrs on amazon is a bit broken at the moment i can't seem to get them from my normal plugin but if we just scroll down we can look at the bsr for this book and it has a bsr of 31,000, which Obviously, if you know anything about the KDP business, that'll be making a lot of money. And we can have a scroll down to another one. This is only the second book on this front page. And this has a BSR of 104,000, which is still good. And it has 122 reviews, so it tells us that, well, maybe in the past, its BSR may have got even higher than that. And we've got another one here. This is only the third book, and this one has a BSR of 67,000. And if you want to get an idea of what kind of things I mean by geometric shapes, it's really quite simple stuff. Like, this is just basic circles. Somebody's just copy and pasted circles and just made it into an interior. And we're going to be creating slightly more complicated design than that. So you may think, well, there's more potential for money there because it looks more impressive and stuff like that. Because as you guys, I'm sure you guys all know, if you put more time into creating a better interior and perfecting it to as best you can, well in the long run it will make you more money. And yeah, we can just scroll down. There is many, many different types of geometric books. This has a BSR of 49,000 as well. So they're all within that almost 100,000 mark. And that's only four books that we've seen. And we can have a look inside this one as well. And yeah, very, very basic stuff. That is very, very easy to make. But anyway, like I said, we're not gonna go too much into the keywords and niche research, but maybe that's something I could look in another video if you guys wanted something like that. Let me know down below if you guys want to know, learn more about this geometric colouring book niche. But we're just going to get straight to designing it. Now the software I'm going to be using is Adobe Illustrator. And I know some of you guys may not have that. And some things that Adobe Illustrator has and what I may be using today may have tools which will not be in your software. But I know softwares like Gravit Designer and Inkscape are very, very similar to Adobe Illustrator. So I'm sure if Adobe Illustrator has it, I'm sure those softwares will have it and they are also free and I recommend them to you guys to get. But anyway, I'm just gonna go straight into Adobe Illustrator and as you can see, I already have my six by nine inch interior open. So that's just a basic interior size and I'm just gonna get straight to showing you how to make this. Now, what you start off by doing, just getting basic rectangle tool and creating a box. Now what you want to make sure is the fill is on none and the stroke is just a basic black. Very simple, just like that. Then all you're gonna to want to do is hold Alt to copy that and just drag across. Then once you've made one, you can click Command D 
if you're on Mac and then Control D if you're on Windows and just copy across however many boxes you want. I'm going to go with seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then what you're going to want to do next is just highlight the whole thing, group it. So right click and then group and then drag it over onto this symbols. Now, if you don't have symbols already open on the right side of your computer or as a tab, go to window, scroll down and then just symbols is down there. Just click it and then it'll bring it up there. Then once you've created that, it'll drag over into your symbols icon there. You can see it there. I've already, you can see where I've already created my one earlier on in the video just to test this out. And all you're gonna to want to do then is just delete that box. Very simple. Then you're gonna to want to grab the rectangle tool again and holding shifts, which will create then a perfect square. You're just gonna to want to drag out to your desired size. And I'm just gonna go something like that. And for this one, we're gonna want no stroke and then just a basic fill color. So I'm just gonna go, that'll do. And I'm just gonna zoom in to get an easier view of everything. Then we're gonna to want to do is highlight the box, then go over to effect, 3D extrude and bevel. Then where it says extrude depth here, you can change it to however much you want because it's gonna obviously differ depending on how big your box is. But for me, it's gonna be 100 points. And then position, you're gonna to want to change that to isometric top. Now, as you can see, 100 doesn't look that good. So then you're just gonna to want to change that to 90. And that looks a lot better for me. I prefer the look of 90, it makes it look more like a cube. You just gotta experiment with that to get whatever you want. Then, the important step. What you're gonna to want to do is where you have this menu open here, click Map Art, and then where it says Symbol at the top here, and highlight it as nine, click that drop down and click our new symbol. Now click our new symbol one that we created earlier. That's why it was important to drag that over to symbol to create that. And then you're gonna to want to click scale to fit. And what that'll do, Adobe Illustrator will automatically scale it down to the size of that box and then go over to all the visible sides. So as you can see in the top right, we have one of six, that's the top side. Then two of six is the bottom. We don't need that because it's not visible three of six, we are going to want to use that. So we're gonna go symbol again, new symbol one, scale to fit, so it scales it down. And then four of six, which is the side, symbol, new symbol one, scale to fit. And then the important thing here is we're gonna to want to change that size to give it a cooler effect. So you're just gonna to want to click at the, at the bottom, just drag it round and make sure it's a perfect in lines, so all the lines are straight, then drop that, and then you're gonna to want to adjust all the sides yourself. So I'm just gonna drag them all in to the side of the box, as you can see here. And once you've done that, you're just gonna to want to click Invisible Geometry, which will get rid of that box that we made, and then just click OK, and then OK there. Boom. There we have our box. Already you can see how this is a bit of a geometric shape. And then once you have your box adjusted to however you want, you're just gonna to want to drag that box we have there and just drag it into the bottom left, like so. Then holding Alt, just drag a cross like that. Zoom in to make sure they're all perfectly aligned. And then Command D across like so, and just keep pressing that until it's all the way across like that. And then highlight all of them again, drag them across until you get to the center point, which should be there. And all you've got to do is highlight them. You can group them if you want to make it easier. Then holding Alt, drag up, and just align them in the middle of each box like so. And just do that for each individual box until you have what is looking like a geometric interior, really. And you can see how it's starting to turn out like those interiors that we had a look at. I think personally even better than the ones we had a look at because it's a bit more complicated and looks a bit more interesting, looks interesting to colour in, which automatically attracts people's eye and makes them want to buy it. Then once you've had it, got it like that, you can see if we zoom in, it goes out to the edges and I'll show you how to just get rid of that. So what I like to do, there's many different ways of doing this, but what I do is literally just go file, then down to export, export as, wait for the menu to pop up, and then you'll just save it wherever you want. 
So I'm just gonna save this to desktop, geometric, shape, use artboards, and that is the important thing. That will get rid of and cut off everything that's around the edges. Click export, high, 300 PPI, boom, like that, white background, and then just click OK. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a new one, so six by nine again, get that geometric interior, and then once you find it, drag that over once again into Adobe Illustrator and center into our box, and boom, there you have it. There's your first page of your however many pages you want to do, and that is how simple it is. I think that looks great, and you can see if you spent time on creating the individual interiors with different shapes, you could do the same thing with like triangles, hexagons, all sorts of things like that. You could create a really good book, and I haven't actually seen many books create ones with this kind of thing. I think it makes it unique, and I'll let you guys steal this idea of me. I don't mind, and yeah, hope you've learned something from that, and maybe you might find that this can help you with developing more skills in the future. You can use all these different new tools that I've showed you, and I didn't know them before, I learned them just from watching videos and stuff like that. And if you don't want to go into time of creating this interior, geometric coloring book interior, there's always Creative Fabrica, and as you can see, there is loads and loads and loads of different geometric pieces of paper you can use, so you can download maybe three different files and add them all together to create like, well, if there's 25 in each of these 75 page interior. There you go, I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to go check that out. And unfortunately Creative Fabric have stopped their deal. I'm sorry for anyone that missed out, but still it's $29 per month if you wanted to get the unlimited version, which I still think is worth it 100%. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, remember hit that like and subscribe button as it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And well, let me know down in the comments below if you learned something from this and if there's any videos you want me to make in the future because I always love reading and replying to every single one of your comments as it means the world to me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.